new product. Just the one. Let me switch over uh, to my browser here. And if I'm not mistaken, we had, if we click on view all new products, one new product in the store this week. And that is this, the Adafruit Feather RP2040, which you may be asking yourself, hey, wait a second, that's not that new, right? Uh, and in fact, you can see one clue here, the product ID is in the 4,000s, and we're currently up in the, the higher 5,000s. Uh, this is a board revision, actually, and it's got some cool updates. So first of all, it is black again. I think we had been doing maybe pink or purple for the last, I think it was pink for the last rounds. This is, is back to black here. Uh, and you will see one obvious change to the board, which is the boot select button is now mounted with a little cool little side mount button. Uh, this means that you can click it even when you have a feather wing on top. So typically a feather wing will break out the reset button. So you'll see the, the reset button is still where it is uh, and it's top mounted. But when we get a feather wing on there, we usually still have a reset button. Pretty much all the feather wings will have a reset button. However, if you need to uh, get into your bootloader, you usually have to press reset and boot select, or boot select and then reset, release. Uh, and that's hard to do once you have it with a feather wing on top. So this gives us this side access to the boot select button. Uh, also, boot select has been uh, moved to, I think it's GPIO 4, uh, when your code is running, you'll be able to use it as a user button. Uh, so this is, I, I believe, after it has started, once it's actually up and running, uh, that is now switched over to be used on GPIO number four, which gives you a tactile button that you can use for free uh, right there on the board. No need to add one, which is great. I love when boards have a at least one a uh, little bit of user interface. Uh, a lot of these will use uh, capacitive touch if you're desperate to, to have some user interface, but nice to have a physical button on there. Uh, so those are, we had, a, I think, just one batch of them made up. So we've got uh, 61 of them in stock right now. So if you, like me, if you love that Feather RP2040, it's a great board. Uh, it's got the USB-C on it, which I love. Of course, it has a LiPo charging circuit built onto it. Uh, and it's got a ton of uh, memory, eight megs of, of memory on there, has the Stemma QT plug for I squared C stuff. So it really is the most modern up to date feather as far as those types of features. So I love it. And that is new, 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 new product.